M. Inum's ex, Kim Mathers, has been pictured rocking a grunge look as she ran errands and grabbed pizza with her rarely seen teenage son in new photos. The U.S. son has obtained the exclusive images taken earlier this month close to her home in Shelby Township, Michigan, showing Kim for the first time in five years. The 48-year-old, who divorced Marshall Mathers for the second time back in 2007, later had a son, Parker, with an unknown partner who lives with his mom. In the new photographs, Kim appears healthy and happy after telling the U.S. Son, she completed a 45-day stint in rehab after her suicide attempt last year. Snaps show her heading to a CVS in a strip mall where an eyewitness said she spent almost an hour picking up essentials including food for the week. The mom of four was seen leaving with handfuls of carrier bags before making her way to a smoke shop where she was puffing on a cigarette. She then headed to a Domino's to put in an order and was later seen heading to a Subway sandwich shop before returning to grab their boxes of pizza. Kim opted for a pair of baggy jeans with giant rips, black studded ankle boots, and a black vest top for the outing, as the pair also visited a local bank. Although Kim lives a humble low-key life in Michigan, she also showed off an MCM black patterned handbag, worth approximately $400. Difficult year. Her son was seen looking jovial wearing jeans and a black t-shirt, showing a black and white photograph of the rapper Ice Q, with the lyrics today was a good day. Kim has been open about her mental health struggles and was rushed to hospital in July last year, just a day after her mom Kathy Sluck's funeral. Audio from a 911 call, obtained by the U.S. Son, revealed one of Kim's scared children found their mom surrounded by blood and pills on her bathroom floor. Her child managed to break the door handle and reach their mother, who begged them not to contact the police. The mom of four, who reportedly left notes for her family, was then taken to hospital for treatment before being discharged. This month, she revealed she spent time in rehab some time after and has been clean for almost a year, after also taking pills to try and sleep as she struggled with grief. When approached to ask how she is doing now, she said, It's been hard. I lost my mom, my dad, and my sister. Family support. I'm good. I've been clean since about October. I went to Jefferson House for 45 days. She said her children had been very supportive, and she is now on medication, but declined to talk further about her situation. An online obituary shows her mother died on July 23rd, and a heartbreaking comment posted by a user claiming to be Kim was shared on the official memory page days later.